Dr. Carla Hightower was shopping at the Water Tower place on Michigan Avenue, and that's when she saw a group of young black males being escorted out. Now, instead of walking away, she took it upon herself to ask questions about the young men had done. She was told they were loitering, but that answer wasn't good enough for her. And in an instant, she became an advocate and an ally. Dr. High Carla Hightower, hi, and thank you for joining us. Thank you, Felicia. Thank you for having me. I'm super excited that you're here. So I saw this article in the Sun-Times. I had to find this woman. I had to find you, so I found you on Facebook, you made it in. Tell me what happened. You see these group of young men, and what was your first thought? My first thought, Felicia, was that these were good kids. They were going about their business looking awesome, and I was so shocked to see the managers of the mall berate, berating them. Mm -hmm. It was verbally abusive, and it was shocking to see that. Um, so You asked a question, you said that you were told that they were loitering and not engaging in the shopping experience. What were your thoughts about that? My thoughts about that was really this is something that people do all the time. Come to the mall and look and window shop. Mm -hmm. That's so normal. And I noticed that these individuals, these, these black teenage boys were being singled out. They were the only ones who were being kicked out of the mall for that for that purpose. So so that really stood out as unfair and wrong. It didn't make sense. So you've actually been engaged in talks with the management at the Water Tower Place, and they've apologized. They've been very open to reviewing their policies, and they're also retraining their security. What do you think needs to be done? Do you think that's enough? Well, I think that we always want to really get to the root cause of the problem. Um, it's something that I do in medicine when I work with people who have diabetes. We reverse the problem by getting to the root cause. So the same thing applies here. It applies in any problem that we're solving in life. We need to look at the, what is the root cause, cause of racial discrimination, racial profiling. And to me, that always starts with some form of fear and some form of, of ignorance mm -hmm. where we, we need to know more about each other and know how similar we really are, that, that we're really not different. We're all the same. For sure. And so that, that's what I think that kind of retraining needs to address. And I mean, you're, I think you're absolutely mm -hmm. inspiring because you saw something and you decided to say something. And you being yeah. a mother, I think uh, you could obviously relate to those being, could have been your child. Absolutely. And so what would you want to tell others about speaking up, especially since we see this on the heels of what happened in Starbucks in Philadelphia? Yes. That made national news because allies stood up and they said this is wrong. What would you want to say to other people who see things that aren't right? I'd say be curious. Ask the questions. Tr try to make sure that something that you see, if it doesn't make sense, say something and find out what's happening and really be willing to stand up for someone else because that's what you would want someone to do for you or for your child. For sure, for mm -hmm. sure. Well, I think you are absolutely inspiring, and I thank you as a community member, and oh, one day I you. plan on being a mom, and I hope they run into someone like you. Thank you, Felicia. <laughs> thank you for having me here.